it was one of those phone calls you dread. Voice on the other end of the phone said, hi, Patty, it's Steve. Are you sitting down? Now, why is it that we always anticipate this is probably not going to be a good conversation when it's your boss calling and asking you to sit down? I sat down. I said, what's up, Steve? He said, Patty, do you remember the British company that bought out our company about four months ago? And I said, sure, what about them? He said, well, over the last four months, they've been looking at every aspect of our business, every division, every department. He said, boy, I, I hate to be the one to call you up and let you know that, unfortunately, they've decided to eliminate our entire division. <coughs> you have three weeks left with us, and then you're unemployed. And I sat back stunned because I had only quit my previous job six months before I got that phone call. My instant reaction was, you know, sort of like that red warning danger light at a railroad crossing. And my instant reaction was, oh, I, I wonder if I could go back and beg for my old job. Oh, shoot, I had hired and trained my own replacement. That was not possible. I thought of my home mortgage, my car payments, my credit card debt. I mean, like, that's why we work, right? I was devastated. A couple days later, however, I had a little voice inside me. Now, I don't think it's because I'm a professional speaker that I talk to myself. I think we all do, but just some of you aren't willing to admit it. And I had a little voice inside me that said, you know, Patty, maybe this is the opportunity you've been waiting for. You could become a professional speaker. I will so readily admit to you that that big warning danger light was a lot brighter and louder in my life than the little tiny voice of opportunity. I learned about 11 years ago the Chinese have a symbol. Combines their symbol of danger with their symbol of opportunity and together it creates the Chinese symbol for crisis. Or the literal translation is precarious moment. And you know what? That's where most of us stand when we encounter change, particularly that we're not in control of. It's that precarious moment to decide how are we going to respond to that change? Is this the worst possible thing that could happen to us or a potential opportunity? Here's what I found working with thousands of people across the country, is that when we look at change as a dangerous thing, in most cases, we do become victims of change. When we choose to, because it is a choice, to look at change as a potential opportunity, we can become change agents. My goal in the two hours that I have the privilege to spend with you is to help you figure out where you are. Are you at that moment where you look at the change of being acquired or joining Prometica, is that a really dangerous thing for you? You're not sure, insecure about your job, not sure what's going to happen? Or do you look at it as a potential opportunity? Because we're going to stand one way or another. I don't find anybody that stands successfully in the middle. And then one day you go, woo, terrible thing, good thing. You know what I mean? You just, you can't. That's psychotic to do that. But yet we try to, we try to balance that out. And more importantly, by the end of the time with you, I hope you make a decision for what you're going to do with change. I think so many of us can relate to this little guy. And he's with his best buddy, and he says, oh, I thrive on change. And his little friend says, you? You threw a fit today because your mom put less bologna on your sandwich than yesterday. And he says, well, I thrive on making other people change. You know, if the truth be known, isn't that true? Like if we were in control of the change, we'd be saying, yes, change is great. I love change. Oh, shoot. Yeah, like I'm not in control. Oh, bummer. There is so much change. We have no control. And so the reality is we need to learn. I, I truly believe the most important skill personally and professionally is how to manage change because it's now the norm. It's not the exception.